Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to the channel, and today I'm commentating over my arrive and drive experience at St. Evil's Karting up in Cornwall. So, this one is from New Year's Eve. I have only just got around to editing it, sadly, so I apologise about the late upload, but I thought I would still edit it together and just put a commentary over it so you guys can enjoy what I went through and the battles I had on this day. So yeah, let's just jump straight into the first session and see how it goes then. So here we go for the first session then. So the first lap you have to stay behind a safety cart and can't overtake anyone until the green lights come on. And there you go, the green lights have come on now so I start going past a few people. And as you can see one of the marshals on my outside there, I just got around him nicely. And now I'll have to try and get past a few people because well, I was right at the back of the grid and the guy that was ahead of me on the outlap was very slow so I just had to try and find my way around these guys very quickly. Peter was a bit up the road for me which was a bit of a shame because we didn't really have a battle in this one. This one I think we were just both using to get used to the track layout. I haven't been here in years so it's a little bit different compared to when I last come here, not gonna lie. This is where I started out kind for the first time when I was like 10 so it was quite interesting to come back here and see the track layout and the difference of the carts. Anyway, we overtook a couple people there and you saw someone back there actually just spun there so a bit of a weird place to spin but nevertheless we carry on and try to send it down the inside of these next guys here. Try and get a very good exit out of here, someone goes very wide there as we're going to try down the inside into this next kink section. Keep it flat very nicely through the kink section, make it past him very nicely. And now we cut to a couple laps later where I try and send it around the outside of someone into the hairpin, leave him enough space but he just understeers into me and ends up spinning which I was a bit, well, confused about because he had all that space that he could have just taken but I think it was a little bit damp through that section there so I can't really blame him too much but yeah. That was our first session over, like I said, not too much happened. The next two is where it gets a little bit more interesting, but now we will move on to them and see what we can do there. So this is the one that gets a little bit more interesting. As you can see, I actually start third here on this session, so I immediately, as soon as the green lights go out, I just go for it, send it around the outside of both the guys in front of me, and make it pass them very nicely. I get a few laps where I just get clean air, and I'm not going to show them just for the fact that it's just a bit boring me just doing laps and continuously going around with no one to battle with. Uh, I tried using the marshals lines through there just as a bit of an example, uh, but he pulls off there where that's where the marshals stand. So yeah, now we are going to cut to a couple laps later though, where I actually let Peter pass and let a couple carts pass so I can actually have a bit of fun here with battling and getting past people again. So as you can see this guy ahead of me, I just slip through him, get right around the outside of him, very nicely there. And now we have Peter in our sight, so we just need to try and keep with him really. My aim is to see what lines Peter is taking really, and compare it to mine. As you can see he goes very wide there, and we take it quite tight, and I think my line was a bit better through there, not gonna lie, so I'm gonna continue using my line, but there, he just got such a good exit somehow. So I might have to try and adapt my racing lines here, just a little bit, just so I can try and have a bit of a challenge catching up with him but through the hairpin as well I was noticing that he was just getting a very good exit compared to me as he just pulled away just a tiny bit there my exit wasn't too bad but I found that in this session through sector 1 and a bit of sector 2 I was a bit quicker than him but in sector 3 he was quicker than me as you can see here he got blocked up by a bit of yellow flags and traffic here so this is where I was right on the tail of him now and I was really trying to push to get past him I tried to use a bit of slipstream, I was thinking about sending it down the side and I thought no I better not or else he just won't see me and I'll end up going into the side of him so I decided to back off and that's my biggest mistake really because that was the end of the session so yeah a bit of a shame but as you can see here he found out that I was behind him and he knew we had a bit of a battle which was quite interesting but the third and final session is still yet to come so I guess now we will move on to that one and hopefully it will be a bit more fun. Here we go for the final session and so we go green flags here and I get a pretty decent start. I try and go around the outside of this guy here and he understeers and so do I and Peter just decides to send it down the inside of all three of us there and gets past all of us. 
So now I need to try and battle back this guy just ahead of me who I'm going to try and go around the outside of and now down the inside of and down the inside of Peter as well which is an incredible double move here but Peter's not giving up that easily he's going to send it back down the inside of me into this next corner here he goes a little bit deep here so I try and use that as my advantage and try and go around the outside of him through this next corner obviously we know Peter's very quick for that corner there and he looked like he took a much better exit here I get a massive amount of slipstream and I definitely think I had the better car in this scenario here as you can see that I actually had to lift off just to avoid flying down the inside of him and causing contact but Peter's trying to go defensive here trying to keep me behind as we come into the second to last corner now and now coming around the kink section to start another lap once again we get massive amount of slipstream as we send it down the inside in towards turn one of Peter and made the mistake very nicely but he comes back once again this time I've understeered out wide and he goes down the inside I used a bit of human DRS there as you saw there and managed to get around him very nicely there and now we go through this high speed corner try and take it as best as possible hopefully Peter doesn't send it back down the inside of us here or else we might be in a bit of trouble here and for this next corner here I actually understeer massively where Peter actually gets around me so now I've got to get back around him again so we're having a massive battle in this final session then as we're trying to keep up with him very nicely as he gets blocked up and his exit gets compromised just a little bit there from a lap car as we come up towards the bridge section now down the straight and we are going to change over to a trackside camera now and we are going to try and send it down inside of Peter into the hairpin section let's see if we can make this move stick he's trying to hold it around the outside and leave him just enough space through this little king section now into the next hairpin section as I push him out wide onto the curb just a little bit there and we cut back to my POV and we have made the move stick on Peter very nicely an insane battle that we had in this final session hopefully we can try and hold Peter up now and keep him behind us for the rest of the session and as you can see he tries to go back down inside of me but as you can see I just had a bit of a better exit out of that corner so I managed to get around him and as I go around the outside of a lap car there just avoiding contact very nice move now I just have to try and go for some clean air and get some clean laps in and see how fast I can really go around this track and see what my best lap time can be at the end of the session. But now as we come around the final corner for the final time and we come home and actually take P2 in the session, uh, someone else actually beat me for P1 sadly. But yeah, it was a good battle, good final session of the year, so I'll take that. But I'm going to leave this video here. If you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure to like and subscribe. But thank you for watching, and goodbye.